today he's going to be working on this, we believe it's a western juniper, we're not exactly sure what it is. Uh, he's going to turn it into a double trunk, perhaps, it's called Sokan in Japanese. Uh, and he wants to think with you guys as a group as to how to approach the design of the tree. So if we're going to be using, this is the front of the tree, the next step is to go through and look at which branches we can utilize in the design and which ones need to be removed. Right, so this thing sticking out at the top is already dead. Do you think we need that? But from the back of this long dead piece here, there's still a live branch that's coming out. So if we're looking at the tree from this side right here, this is going to become the parent tree, the main tree, and this one's probably going to become the secondary or child tree. So with this sticking up so high right here, it's sticking up a little a little bit too much, so he's going to have to reduce that so there's some variation in height between the main trunk and the secondary trunk. So with the main trunk, we're going to need to decide exactly how tall we're going to make it. Right, so that branch as it is right now is too long and too straight, so there's two options. One would be to bend it, put some movement in it. The other option would be to cut it off completely. <laughs> Should we cut it? Is it okay if it cuts it? Alright. <laughs> If you notice, you just cut this branch off. It looks like this might become the apex, but you have to look at where it's exiting out of the trunk. It's a very difficult to use branch because it comes out very straight out of the back of the tree, so it needs to be eliminated. Now that we've removed this heavy branch on this side, do you guys think it's much more obvious now that that branch is too heavy on the main trunk? Yes. All right. <laughs> making jin and then shari, which is the deadwood on the trunk. What you'll do is start with the jins, which are the deadwood branches first, and then peel from there into the trunk and follow whatever natural line is peeled out by hand. So in other words, he doesn't go through with chalk and draw out the lines uh, of the shari on the trunk and carve that out. He starts with the jins first and then peels from there and just lets the, uh, the natural line of the tree kind of emerge from that peeling process. He says if you use
question was, is this a good time of year to be doing shari on a juniper like this? And his response was, it's actually a little bit too late in the season. Uh, the main reason is because it's very difficult to peel the bark off. The water is not being sucked up from the uh, roots up into the tree, uh, and it's starting to dry out because it's going to go into dormancy here uh, pretty quickly, so it's very difficult to peel the bark off. Whereas if you were to do this work earlier in the year, say in the spring through uh, part of the summer, it would be very easy to peel that bark off. Uh, now, if you're going to be using power tools, this time of year is a decent time uh, to do shari work on a tree, so you can just buzz the trunk up, no problem. Uh, but if you're doing this kind of work that he's doing, where he's peeling that bark away, it's very difficult at this time of year. You'd want to do it either in the spring or as it gets into the summer months. So when you're creating a multi-trunk tree, so in this case it's a double-trunk tree, the branches that are emanating coming in towards the middle, so those that are coming between the small trunk and the larger trunk, need to be removed. So a tree like this, it doesn't have any natural shari to it, it's just a simple round trunk all the way to the top. Go ahead and add as much shari as possible to it. If the juniper doesn't have shari to it, there's really no interest in the tree at all. That's what makes a juniper bonsai a juniper bonsai is the shari.
本ないんだよ。ありがとうございます。